what I will discuss now is how to set the microscope up so we can look at things by eye. So this microscope has a number of safety features and of options uh, that make this process of looking at things by eye uh, a little more tricky. We have to pay attention to a number of things to make sure that we can get the light from the light source through the sample to our eyes. So I'm going to start by showing you how to do this for bright field illumination, and then I'll discuss some of the ways in which this is different for um, fluorescence. So uh, on the microscope, the bright field illumination comes from this lamp here, goes through here, down through the condenser, into the sample, through a filter cube down here, and then the light can go either to the camera ports on the left or to the eyepieces here. So what we need is for this light to be on and for all of the components in the path to the eyepiece to be set to direct the light to the eyepiece, eyepiece and to not be blocked. So let's do this one step at a time. So first, to illuminate the sample, uh, this is not something that we can do on the microscope itself, it's something that we have to do in the software. So if we go here to Metamorph, if you look at the top left where it says illumination, you'll see that there is uh, a setting called bright field eye and a bright field acquisition fast. Bright field acquisition fast is what you will use with the camera. Bright field eye, as it says, is for the eyes. So we're gonna click that, and then to illuminate the sample, we're gonna click on this button here. That turns on the light and opens a shutter that can illuminate the sample. So now we know that we have light uh, going through the condenser into the sample. But how do we make sure that light makes it through to the eyepieces. So the first thing we need to pay attention to is the position of this turret. This turret contains filter cubes uh, that are used for um, sort of different scenarios which are outlined here on the side of the microscope. In position one uh, of that filter turret, we can look at bright field. In positions two, three, four, and five, we can look at uh, different fluorophores uh, by eye, though note that the Psi 5 filter, um, the human eye is really not sensitive to this kind of fluorescence, so we wouldn't really be able to see anything. And setting number six is a polarizer that would allow us to do DIC. So if we are looking using bright field, uh, we would set that uh, cube to position one. If we were going to use DIC illumination, which I'm not going to cover in this uh, video, we would use position six. So typically for a quick and dirty bright field, we will use position one. Note that position one is also the position in which we're going to place things if we need to actually image using the spinning disc confocal. Position one is where it is right now, so we're going to leave that as it is. So that, so far, what we have is light reaching the sample and then going through the right cube beneath the sample. The next things that we need to do are to ensure that the light goes to the eyepieces and that it can actually reach them. So to ensure that the light goes to the eyepieces, we have to take a look at these uh, lights and make sure that um, the one next to the eye symbol is turned on. And so if we picked uh, bright field eye, that will automatically be set correctly. Let me actually turn this on again. I mistakenly turned it off. If instead we want the light to go to the left, to the cameras on this system, we would press the button again and send it to the cameras. That's not what we want to do, so we want to go back to eyes. So there's one final piece uh, to make sure that the light gets to the eyes, which is this slider here. So this slider is a safety measure uh, for uh, using the spinning disc. So if you want to use laser illumination when you're doing spinning disc confocal, this has to be in this position. And it, by being in that position, it activates an interlock, so it lets the laser through, and it blocks any reflected laser light from going up through the eyepieces and frying your eyes. So uh, that's a safety feature, but right now we actually want to look by eye, so we're going to pull this out to the first stop, and that will allow the light that goes from that lamp through the condenser into the sample, through the popper filter cube, up towards the eyepieces, and now there's going to be 
uh, this, this path will not be blocked and the light will make it to the eyepieces. So those are the steps that we have to take if we want to do bright field illumination of the sample so that we can look at it by eye.